Okay, I just got this in the in the mail. Got it from Amazon for thirty-eight dollars and ninety-nine cents, and I've really interested in it because of the possibility of getting a flat tire, and I've got a bottle jack in my trailer, but I really don't want to use it. I'm looking for something that's a little bit more convenient. The first thing I noticed when I opened it up was a very strong rubber type smell. But um, anyway, the, when you look at this thing and feel it, it is very sturdy. It's this hard plastic. Um, got a little extra rubber piece here to get an, another inch or so of lift. On the bottom, you've got jagged teeth to, and also the bolts to be able to grab hold of the asphalt a little bit better so you won't have any type of slippage uh, when you try to pull up on it. Um, I got this one because I'd read some of the uh, comments on it and some of the people were claiming that if you had kind of a wide wheelbase on your trailer that you may not be able to use this one. Um, this is the tallest one you could you could get at five and a half inches of lift so I went ahead and bought it and I want to try it here and let everyone else know how it worked out so let's start setting it up my trailer is a 14 foot long seven foot wide proline enclosed trailer um, and has a v-nose on it it has two 3,500 pound axles and the wheelbase on it is, let's see, about 33 inches, 33, 34 inches. So we got it, we've got it set up. I'm gonna go ahead and pull forward and we'll see if we get enough lift by bringing that front wheel up to be able to raise the back wheel off the ground if we had a flat. like it works. We got enough got enough height there. Okay, let's back it down. Okay, this is how we do it, by backing up. Okay, what I did, I 
since I was getting so much slippage, I kind of pulled forward and gave it kind of a running start um, just because it was still slipping on the asphalt. But it definitely works, and I'm going to be keeping it. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye. Okay, here's the bottom of it. And just in that little bit, got a little bit of scratches on the bolts where they were trying to dig in. A little bit of wear on the teeth in the back. But you also got to remember, this is something that you're not going to be using every day, hopefully. And here are the scratch marks on the driveway on the asphalt where it was trying to dig in. But like I said, if, if it starts to slide, the only thing I can suggest would be pull forward a little bit or pull away from it just a little bit and then um, kind of get a running start so it's not pitching up like it was because that was what, it was what was causing it to slide. But uh, by doing it that way, it rolled right up right into, right into the uh, bucket at the top. Worked great. I'm definitely going to be keeping it. Thanks for watching. Bye.